guys, what's going on? It's Kraka Sudden Death here, coming to you guys with another Call of Duty Black Ops 2 gameplay. Because Infinite Warfare sucks. Yeah, I mean, there's more people playing Modern Warfare 2 on Steam than there are people playing Infinite Warfare. I rest my case. Anyways, guys, with that being said, I've got a gameplay here by my brother, DNX Ghost, and of course, he's using the MA7, playing on the map hunted in the game mode domination. Hope you guys do enjoy the gameplay. Anyways, let's talk about how I got three laptops in six days, as you obviously saw from the title of this video. So I need a laptop for my work. I work for Mobile Esports. Uh, I'm a shotcaster, a video editor, and multiple other things that I need a laptop to use in order to do my job. Yeah, I mean, yeah, that's why I need one. Uh, but I've been doing all my work on a iPad or an iPhone or an Android smartphone uh, for a couple years now. Pretty much all the previous videos you've seen have been edited on a smartphone or an iPad, which, I mean, I'm, I'm gonna brag a little bit. I mean, they were actually pretty good videos. Just just saying, I, I did that all from a smartphone and a pair of Apple ear pods. So, you know, just a little round of applause for me. But anyways, guys, I got three laptops. And of course, I don't still have three laptops. I returned two of them. Uh, but I just want to talk about the process of returning them. And a big shout out to Best Buy because they didn't even bat an eyelash. They, they've helped me so much. And just big shout out to you guys. Thank you so much. So the first laptop I got was an Alienware 17-inch laptop. And this thing was amazing on paper. It had a Quad HD 17.3-inch display, a GTX 1070, a quad-core i7 processor. That's the 77HQ, so the 7th generation. 16GB uh, of VRAM. I mean, it was absolutely amazing, on paper at least, because in real life, it was absolutely butt cheeks. It was horrible. The display looked like somebody had left it in the bathroom after taking a shower. It was really foggy. Uh, the the Wi-Fi would disconnect. The keyboard sucked. There were, like, scuffs on the keyboard deck. It was just a really, really bad experience. And also, on the camera, the infrared Windows Hello camera, I believe that's infrared, uh, there was a scratch, like somebody took a knife or something and scratched it. There was also none of the nice plastic you can peel off and enjoy hearing it peel off and go Yeah, I, I thoroughly enjoy doing that. I'm a nerd. I'm, I'm sorry. I, I just am. But anyways, with that being said, I ended up returning the laptop because it was just horrible. And I got a MacBook Pro because I do work for mobile esports and, well, we do mobile stuff. And I use an iPad to play my games to stream to platforms such as YouTube, Twitch, and Mob Crush. So the thought was that it's a MacBook Pro made by Apple who makes the iPad, so this should be pretty easy, right? Everything should just work, as people like to say about Apple products. But dang was I wrong. Now the video editing software was amazing. I'm not as big of a fan of the video editing software on Windows, or at least I wasn't, which we'll talk about here in just a second. And Final Cut Pro was amazing. I, it just is. I love that program so much. That's probably the only thing I missed from having to return the MacBook Pro. But I did have to return it because streaming was horrible. This was the MacBook Pro 15 with Touch Bar. It had a dedicated GPU, which, yes, it's supposedly less powerful than an Xbox One GPU. Thank you, Apple, so much. A lot of applause to you guys. It also had a seven, sixth generation quad core i7 processor. So, in theory, it should be powerful enough. However, things weren't supported in the software, and Apple had things locked down, and it was just incredibly laggy on stream. I mean, it was like watching a slideshow. So I had to return the MacBook Pro with a heavy heart and get an Alienware 17 again. And I honestly wasn't looking forward to this until I got the laptop and brought it home and unboxed it. And immediately, I could see a difference. First off, the display was absolutely gorgeous. There were no scratches, the keyboard was good, there were no scuffs on the keyboard deck, everything just worked. And it was really, really, it was, it's been a good experience ever since then. So I began to do a little bit of a sleuthing. That's right, you can call me a Sherlock Holmes. It's elementary, my dear Watson. Uh, and yes, I figured out pretty much what I think happened. The first time I got my Alienware 17 inch laptop, the guy that got me, the Best Buy representative, went into the back of the store, into the warehouse area, and came back about five minutes later with that laptop. And it had a big letter R drawn on it with a Sharpie and a bunch of packaging information like it had just been shipped or something. And I was really confused. I wasn't expecting this, but I didn't say anything about it. It was my first laptop ever. And what do I know? So I got it and took it home and had a horrible experience with it, like you guys already know. Now, the second one I got, the guy, the Best Buy representative, this was a different representative this time, got it out from underneath the display stand 
at Best Buy. So the display area, right underneath the cabin area, he pulled the laptop out and gave it to me. There was no R on it, but this drawn with the Sharpie, there was no packaging information or anything. It was just the box with the laptop in it. So here's my theory. I called Best Buy and asked if they sell refurbished products, wanting to see if that first laptop was refurbished. However, they do not sell refurbished products. But what would an R mean at Best Buy? It's a store. Well, return. And that's what my theory is, and what I've come to the conclusion of was that laptop was meant to be returned because it was broken. It had problems. And the guy that got me my first laptop got it off of the return shelf without realizing it. Anyways, guys, I got a brand new laptop with a GTX 1070, and I'll be playing some kick-ass PC games coming really soon. So stay on the lookout for that. Anyways, guys, with that being said, this is your cracker, Sonny Dathia, signing out. I'll see you guys somewhere soon on the internet. Peace!